Okay, if you're in record mode and hit C again, it stops it. Well, that's simple enough. This thing's really hard to hold on to because, uh, I mean, that's not too bad right there, but then you can't, I can't get my, well, that hurts my thumb to bend it that far back. And so then you end up dropping it, trying to shove it up forward. I guess it's just right for that. But really, I guess it's just made for much smaller hands. And I don't have big hands. I can't imagine somebody with real big hands trying to use it. So I'm going to put it in the headset. I tried it once before. See, it has a window. Let me get that to show it again. It's been a long time. Okay, here's the headset, uh, the VR headset. It's an LA Fire, and it's a, it's a branded for, uh, you know, LA Fire for uh, Amazon. It was made, uh, I forgot the other company. It was, it's identical to this other company that makes them. There's a whole, was a whole bunch of them on the market, and I got it for like 13 bucks. It was, you know, so it was, it was worth it. And what I really wanted it for, I, I can't even stand watching stuff in it. It makes my head spin. And what I wanted, I thought it'd be kind of neat, but what I really well thought is since this front opens up, I've got it open right now, I thought maybe I could put the camera in there and shoot with it, you know, and have like a head mounted cam. But it makes my eyes go nuts because it has these two like binocular eyes and uh, eye portals in there. And uh, when you don't have a split screen, you know, like with two, it's usually split right in the middle with the same video on either side. That's how it makes it supposed 3D. Um, that's 2D to me, but anyway, <laughs> two, you're really just looking at two, two identical screens. If you weren't, then it'd make your eyes really go nuts. Um, I've used, played with the apps a little bit. That's how come I figured all that out. But anyway, I'm going to put it in there. Uh, but the bad thing is the audio, uh, I, I thought maybe the mics were covered. The mics are like on the ends of the phone, each end. Kind of hard to show that like here and here. And, uh little hole, pinholes in the end um, it's um, it's not too I mean it's really a bit heavy on your head and it's not all that great and comfortable you really couldn't what I wanted if I was when I was working out doing uh, you know when I'm making and building stuff and I wanted to be able to make videos that were better than trying to hold the camera in one hand or carrying a tripod around or whatever um, that's what I've actually I've figured out lately that I can actually be steadier with either folding up the legs on that one or this one, either one. And uh, that one's a little cl more cumbersome to fold up, but it's a much better tripod. That one, I'm copying videos off of it right now. But I'd like to have those set up as still cameras, and sometimes I like to do three camera shoots, you know. Well, well, I like to do it with OBS Studio, then I can switch between them. But anyway, I thought it would really be cool if you could have a head, head mounted. Of course, that's kind of big and in the way. I don't think it would... I actually started thinking, okay, maybe I can put it on my head, on my forehead, and not try to look through it. That's what I'm thinking right now. I forgot to mention that. Because you could readjust the straps and make it where it doesn't go down over your eyes, or, or to be, you know, where it stays up when you want it to stay up. Pull that one strap. I guess it doesn't adjust to. Yeah, it has a Velcro adjustment. There's a Velcro right there, so I could probably rig that up. So anyway, let, let's see what happens with that. <clears throat> and uh, but the audio is not going to be good unless I get me a mic I can plug into it or something because I, I, it's, I know I already tried it and it m sounds really muffled up inside of there and I just realized there's really no way to no way to stop that uh, I thought maybe there was it was part of the framework that this thing is in causing it but uh, it's not it's open I can't show that without getting one of those other cameras going but uh, so, you know, you're getting sound like getting muffled because like it's coming through the air vent holes and stuff. And it's getting sound, but not very good. So let me, actually those are going to be pretty much closed when I slide this in there. It's, I've got it in the carriage right now. But uh, anyway, let me put it in there and do another test. Oh yeah. Let's see if this works like I said, like I thought. Yeah, you have to look. I mean, if I don't, if, if I'm not holding the phone in one hand and, and I can look down at that, you know, okay. But anyway, you definitely need the remote in order to do any filming with this stuck up on your head because you couldn't turn it on with it inside of there, you know. All right.